book reveals Brazil considered replacing Clinton with Biden after she fainted in public. While Democrats may want to move on from the 2016 Democrat primary, former interim DNC chairwoman Donna Brazil has written a book about the 2016 election that is tearing open old wounds. In the first bombshell out of the book, Brazil confirmed that the primary was rigged against Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. In the latest revelation, Brazil states that she considered replacing former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton as the Democrat nominee, The Washington Post reported. After Clinton's infamous fainting episode on September 11, 2016, Brazil said she seriously considered initiating the process of replacing Clinton. Brazil was thinking of replacing her with Biden because the Clinton campaign was anemic and had the odor of failure. Ouch! That's some pretty scathing criticism, but it is right on the money. I thought of Hillary, and all the women in the country who were so proud of and excited about her. I could not do this to them, Brazil stated, explaining why she ultimately never followed through. Former Clinton campaign members have shot back at some of the allegations in Brazil's book claiming she is mischaracterizing key pieces of information. It is particularly troubling and puzzling that she would seemingly buy into false Russian-fueled propaganda, spread by both the Russians and our opponent, about our candidate's health, read an open letter signed by over 100 former members of the Clinton campaign. Apparently those members have forgotten what happened the day Clinton fainted. That wasn't Russian propaganda, she actually did collapse. Brazil was tempted to have former Vice President Joe Biden be the party's new nominee, with New Jersey Senator Cory Booker as his running mate. Again and again I thought about Joe Biden, Brazil wrote. No matter my doubts and my fears about the election and Hillary as a candidate, I could not make good on that threat to replace her. Brazil also touches on how terrible the campaign was, claiming it ignored issues of race ran stupid messages and said the campaigns in Y headquarters felt like a place where someone had died. This is a book that is going to tear the Democrat Party wide open. For months, they have managed to get by due to focusing solely on attacking President Donald Trump. Now, they are being forced to confront some ugly truths about their party. So sit back, grab the popcorn, and watch them implode, implode.